Fairy Princesses, welcome back to my channel. I have, well, you know what kind of video this is because I wrote it in the title, so there's no point in playing coy. It's a haul video, and it's a haul video, like a hella haul video. I have never spent this much on myself all at one time, ever in my life. Uh not really gonna get into the specifics of it, but me and Andrew, my boyfriend, came into some money and decided to treat ourselves. He got PlayStation VR, I bought makeup, and I bought a lot of makeup. I wanna preface this by saying this is not to try and brag, I just want to share with you what I purchased. Uh, I don't know if you care or are interested, if not, close out of this video, whatever, but I'm pretty excited. So if you're interested in these kinds of videos, just continue to watch and we'll, you know, dive right in. So I'm just gonna pull it out one at a time. Some of these things I um, already pulled out of the packaging and then threw that packaging away. I should say this isn't one huge order. This is things that I've ordered over the span of a few weeks or so. And this is all of my high-end stuff. I could do a drugstore haul for you if you'd like, because I did do some damage at Target and Walmart and CVS, but this is the stuff that I've purchased from Sephora, specifically Sephora.com. So let me just pull out the, the first thing. It's this. The Electric Palette from Urban Decay. This is on sale right now on Sephora.com. I think it's half off or something, some sort of percentage off. And I always wanted this, always had my eye on it, never been able to really afford it, never been able to really get it, and it being on sale was kind of like what pushed this into motion. And of course, I'm sure all of you are familiar with it. It looks like this, comes with the brush, etc, etc. I don't think I'm going to swatch this, specific, mostly because you've seen tons of videos with this inside of it already before. But I just wanted to show you guys this palette, and I'm really excited to play with it and put it on my face. I have not used any of these products yet, so this is like the first time I'm really opening a lot of these. I did open this palette, and this palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. It is equally as beautiful, but for different reasons. Obviously, these are more neutral tones, more everyday, and it's beautiful, and I'm excited to also put this on my face. Alright, and then I'm just going to kind of just go through. So the next thing I got is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer. Just pop this open. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, not all of this stuff's from Sephora. Some of this stuff's from ColourPop. I'm sorry. I did do a ColourPop order as well, and I just kind of tossed that stuff in this box. So ColourPop technically is an affordable brand, but I'm just going to show you what I got in this video. This is what it looks like. Packaging's really cute. This is the um, Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer, and the name of it's Sweet Tea. And I am a southern lady, so I... Okay, so I was not recording while I was talking, so that's fun thing that just happened to me, but let me just, I think I left off when I was actually recording here. So this is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea, and this just hits me in my, my little southern bless her heart, because I'm a southern girl, I'm from the east coast, I live on the southern side of the United States. Like, certain southern things I'm not a big fan of, other southern things I really like, and Sweet tea is kind of one of those, just, it's just kind of like, I don't know, gitchy and nice and like reminds me of downtown Charleston, etc. And I like it, so I like the packaging, I think it's really cute, and the product itself, I swatched it on my hand, so you can see, but I was not recording, but it's really pretty, it's got a matte side and like a more of a shimmery scent, and separately they're really pretty, but together they're gorgeous, and I can't wait to put this on my face, I'm really excited. It doesn't really smell like anything. I don't have a very good sense of smell, but I don't smell anything. Okay, so the other two, the two products I was talking about when I realized my camera wasn't recording are the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser and then I got First Aid Beauty Radiance Pads. These are actually both for Andrew. I'm pretty set in my skincare routine. I love all of the products that I'm using currently, but he's about to run out of his clear silk and I thought 
He, he likes it, but it's not like his favorite. He likes for his products to be a little bit simpler than what the, than the clear sill he's using. So I thought maybe the pure cleanser from First Aid Beauty would be really good for him. I just got like the smaller travel size just so he could test it out. And then I got these because he likes to use these after he goes to the gym. Just like rubs his face down and, you know, kind of look clinical. And he's attracted to that sort of thing. So that's for him. So I got for him. Next I got this is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And I got this because of Kathleen Lights. It's in the shade 01, the highlight. If you're having a lot of texture, which I get sometimes, especially around my period, this does not enhance that texture. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's actually quite like sleek and nice and I really like that big mirror and stuff. So I'm gonna swatch this. Do I have anything on my fingers? No. It feels nice and smooth, most like a baked product. I'm just gonna put it here. Let's see if nope, can't see it at all. It's really pretty, it's really soft, doesn't smell like anything. I'm really excited to use this, see how well it works on my skin. I think I'm a little more fair than Kathleen is, so I'm a little nervous this isn't gonna like work on my skin tone, but I'm hopeful. It looks the right color, it looks the right shade, so excited about that. got this. This is the Makeup Forever Water Blend Face and Body Foundation. I did purchase the original face and body. It's not the water blend formula, but I found that for my skin type, it, well not my skin type, but my skin tone texture and like the discoloration that I have going on, the redness. What I'm trying to say is I tried out the original Makeup Forever face and body and it was too watery in for me it was too light it didn't cover it didn't have quite enough coverage like I knew it was light it's a buildable medium but it it looked it just didn't look good on my skin and I think it's because I at the time I had a lot of texture my skin's a lot better now than it was then but I still even think that now it probably wouldn't work the best for me so I bought this I bought it in the shade what shade did I get it's Y225 the Makeup Forever foundation like color scheme kind of confuses me so I hope I got the right color so I'm just gonna pump a little bit of this this is 1.69 fluid ounces which is actually a hefty size for a foundation and it appears to be and like it wasn't any more expensive than any of the other foundations I have yeah I think that's gonna match me just fine match my skin tone it's very neutral toned you can't see any of that, but it's it's watery like the original, but it seemed to have just like a touch more coverage. I really like, I have a, what's it called? My MAC foundation is my MAC Studio Water Rate foundation. I'd really like to see how it compares to the Studio Water Rate, because I actually really like this foundation. But I like that for more when I'm going out. It's a little bit more coverage. I'm hoping that this will be really good for like every day, an everyday application, so excited to put that on my face as well. All right, the next products I got was another Makeup Forever product. It is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. I've wanted this for a really long time and I'm really glad I got it. So it looks like this. This is the um, like dark circle correcting color, I believe is what that's supposed to be for. This is the um, illuminating shimmer color. This is the contour. And then this is the highlight, which is, it's it's more like a concealer, I believe. Got it in the lightest shade, and it looks like this. I'm pretty stoked to try it. I'm pretty stoked to try out cream contouring in a more, um, go more in depth with it. So, I'm really excited for this. I think it's going to be really cool. Next product I got, let's see. I got a travel size of Better Than Sex Mascara. Let's see. I also got this. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is also a travel size, but it was in the lightest shade, which is what my skin tone requires. So I thought I would try it out before purchasing the larger size. So one of my favorite things to do on Sephora.com is to go through the travel size section. Um, you can find a lot of really, really good products because a lot of bronzers, blushes, that sort of thing, you don't really go through a full pan of them unless you're like obsessed. So trying out a new product and getting like a small sample size is really good because you'll be able to try it out and you probably won't get through it ever. But this is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. And let's see, 
just a little splotchy poo with that. It's very shimmery. I didn't expect it to be this shimmery. That's pretty. It actually looks a lot like the Sweetheart's bronzer, to be perfectly honest. Like, it looks so similar. Dupler, maybe? I don't know. It looks similar on my skin. I don't know how it's going to fare, like, on my face. Like, in a swatch, they look almost identical. So, there's that. The next thing I got, let's see what else is in here. Oh, this was a huge purchase for me. I have never bought any luxury makeup ever, and I decided to really splurge and treat myself, and I got this. This is the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. It looks like this, very sleek. So I love the packaging, the packaging is really nice, and that just fell up. The actual product is really big, which I really appreciate because it was V expensive. It was pricey. And it looks a lot like the Wet n Wild. Like, I think the Wet n Wild makes a dupe, and I have those two. I don't think that they're going to compare, just to throw that out there, but I haven't swatched this at all, so I'm going to slide my finger in this. Oh, it's the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Just kidding. Okay, I'm just going to. That is a beautiful shade. I don't, can you see that? My terrible swatching job. Oof, that's pretty. And then this one, you're probably not gonna be able to see that at all, but that's gonna be a really pretty powder. I'm so excited for this, I'm stoked. I still have more, guys. Can you believe that I still have more? All right, I guess now I'm gonna talk about the ColourPop products I got. I do you have, still have some more stuff from Sephora, but I'll get to that in just a second. So, I got a bunch of ColourPop stuff. There are lipsticks and liners, and if you know me, you know I am a giant Kathleen Lights fangirl because I think she's amazing. I She's the reason that I started this YouTube channel. She's really inspired me in a lot of ways to kind of, I don't know, do things. And I, she's my favorite YouTuber, so her uh, ColourPop collaborations I purchased. I purchased them and that's what came and I, I actually wanted to get them when they first came out but couldn't so this is what that is. So I got all of the lippies which I'm sure you're familiar with. There is Alyssa, uh, Point Zero, and November. We'll swatch them on the back of my hand. So this one as I was saying is Alyssa. I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand for you so you can see. That's the color. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty pinky, like, nude shade. And then this one is a similar color, but a different, like, it's warmer. This one is called November. And it looks like, let's see if I can do this. It looks like that. Because you can see it's a warmer and a lot peachier. So it's kind of, reminds me of Dirty Peach. What Dirty Peach is supposed to look like with the lip liner and liquid lipstick from Kylie Jenner Cosmetics, Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know, I've never, I don't own any Kylie Jenner products, so just based on what I've seen on the internet and swatches and things, I feel like this is what that's supposed to look like, at least on my skin tone. And then the last liquid lip is in point zero. This one's a really pretty, like, neutral, cool tone brown. Oh, I love that color. So pretty. Okay, so those are the liquid lipsticks that I'm really excited about. So I got three of those, and then I got four eyeliners. ColourPop eyeliners are amazing. They are some of the best eyeliners I've ever used in my entire life. Their colored eyeliners are amazing. I actually didn't mean to get four. I was supposed to get three, but I accidentally bought two of Bee Sting. So if you're watching, Ashley, you're going to get you some Bee Sting. So this one is the Kathleen Lights ColourPop collab. It's called Mr. Bing. And the reason I got this, not only because I love Kathleen Lights, but because I have green eyes and it's supposed to work really well with green eyes. So I'm actually just gonna take it right here on my hand again. And just, you can see that color. It's like a really pretty, um, deep, rich, mahogany, red-brown. Is that too many descriptors? I don't even know. 
but it's gorgeous and I'm really excited to see how it works on my eyeballs. And then this is Bee Sting. This is the one I actually bought two of, so as I said, Ashley, if you're watching, this is coming your way. I'm just gonna put it right here. You can see it's bright AF. And these stay really good in the waterline. And then the next one I bought is called Kicker. And I, I thought this one would be beautiful for Christmas, holiday time, New Year's looks. So I got this one. And it's just like the silveriest silver you've ever silvered. So it looks like this. You can see? No, oh, no, you can't. Hold on. Ah. Actually, you're just gonna. That right there the silvery silver ever and it's so pretty and I'm really excited to put that on my face on my face okay so those are the liners that I got now onto the rest of the products I got from Sephora so this is the rosebud smith's rosebud solve and I love anything rose rose scented rose rose or rose 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 so I got this for a nighttime lip treatment. I've been using the EOS lip balm, but I find that like it doesn't really stick around, stay on my lips, keep them hydrated. So I'm hoping that this will do that. It says solve and I tend to think the solves. I'm saying that word so weird. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like Vaseline. I tend to think solves, salves. I think it's salves. I tend to think salves are going to be a little bit richer and thicker. For some reason, I have this aversion to petroleum jelly. Like, putting actual Vaseline on my mouth freaks me out. I don't know what it is about, like, Vaseline, but anything Vaseline brand, I can't actually put anywhere near my body. It, like, I can't do it. So, I know it's crazy, I know it's weird, but I picked that up. And then I got this guy. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. It is in the shade 1.0. I really hope this matches me because the Urban Decay also has really confusing shade selections. All right, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, can you see? I don't think you can see. I don't know, I'm nervous. This was, I mean, I would have to go down to 0.5, I think, if I were to down a color. I don't know if this is going to match my skin tone or not, but we'll find out. Um, probably going to do a get ready me with me with most of these products. Okay, so the next product that I have to show you is this. This is the Perfect Bite Bite Beauty like mini lipstick collection. I don't have any Bite Beauty lipsticks and they're a brand that I think looks incredibly interesting and incredibly cool. And they had this little set on Sephora.com and I just thought it was lovely. It had a lot of really cool shades. This had a range of shades that, that I was interested in and fit my skin tone. So there's Fig, Pepper, Honeycomb, and Nori is what this little guy says. So let's pull these out. Okay, so they're really cute, small, like little things. And I, I mean, I barely go through one lipstick. I don't think I'm going to go through these. If you guys want to see like a little mini lip swatch video, I can post that on Instagram. Let me know and I will do that for you. And then the last thing that I bought, last but not least, is this is the Holiday 2016 um, Tarte Blush Palette. And I think it is gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty and I'm really stoked. So this is what it looks like. It's got two sides so the blushes are concept icon montage ironic and clarify crafty and then on the other side it's surreal culture idol mod and deco so down here you have a bit of cool tone neutrals and then here you've got some fun pops of color like there's a really pretty peachy one and um, just like this really sparkly like tangerine color I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be amazing. I wanted to build my blush collection anyway and tart blushes are some of the best so I'm stoked. And yeah that's everything. Ah, this was quite a haul and I'm very excited to share these things with you guys so thanks so much for watching. If you liked this haul video leave, like it, leave a comment down below letting me know if you want to see uh, any of these products in particular in a video. If you want to see that Insta video about the Bite Beauty lipsticks, I could do a swatch video for you. So 
keep me posted and I will do that for you. All right guys, thanks, bye. Hey Warrior Princesses, welcome back to this channel. Today, me and Mama Shannon are gonna be making pumpkin bread.